Australia. Known for its tropical beaches, deserts, and scary as f**k wildlife. <coughs> but Australia also has some insane mountain bike trails. Here are five underrated mountain bike trails you might not know about. Timber features are pretty scarce in the Australian mountain bike scene, but Rip and Berm is the exception. Built by a bunch of renegade trail builders, this trail features not one, but four perfectly placed timber berms. But the highlight for this trail is it has this S-shaped berm, and you can generate so much speed through this feature. Just check out how fast these mountain bikers can hit this section. Yeah. It's so unique, and so many people don't even know it exists. If you make it out here, just watch out for this guy. Good job. Good job. Wright is one of the most popular mountain biking destinations in Australia. So many riders come here to hit the massive jumps on Hero Trail and Shred Cali. Whoa, yeah! The World Cup Trail is often overlooked. <laughs> this double black diamond trail is steep and relentless. It's 1.5 kilometers long and descends 328 meters and it demands your full attention the whole way down. <laughs> this is my mate Rowan going down World Cup for the very first time. Let's listen to him struggle. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. World Cup isn't for everyone but it's one of my all-time favourite trails. And if you go to Bright, don't just be a hero. Check out World Cup. All right, Scorpion. It's sort of cross-country, and it's sort of enduro. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, dude. This mostly descending trail is a true work of From art. From the trail signage all the way down to the railway sleeper berms. No. Yes! Yo! <laughs> this is the perfect trail if you want to introduce someone to the more gravity side of mountain biking, like I tried to with my girlfriend and her sister. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old classic out here in Western Australia, but I feel like it gets forgotten about due to the massive amounts of new trails being built. Yo! Oh, oh, there's a reason there's a big cushion on that tree. Queenstown, Tasmania. I'm excited. It feels like the Wild West. Well, it is a Wild West, isn't it? It's every mountain biker's dream to ride in Tasmania. But with world-renowned bike parks in Tassie, like Maydina and Derby, Queenstown on the west coast, it often gets left out. The waterfall trail in Queenstown is an absolute masterpiece. Oh my. This is so unique. I can't even imagine the amount of hours that went into placing all these rocks perfectly to form this amazing trail. Oh, you hit me. Oh. Oh, I'm holding on so tight. It is so loose. It's fucking gnarly. The waterfall trail is super exposed and it does not forgive. It's rated blue and I wouldn't recommend it to a beginner mountain biker. It's just too full on. I don't know how to get, get my head around the exposure for if I can. Heaps of mountain bikers have heard of the epic Fox Creek Bike Park in South Australia. But what about Kangas? Kangas. Never heard of it. I'm gonna hit warm ups. Warm ups is a short black diamond trail in Kangarilla. It weaves its way down a pine plantation, and pine plantations have the sickest dirt. When I visited Kangas, I was so stoked on this trail. I had to ride it twice. That was just so fun. Look out for the double road gap down the bottom of this trail too. It's insane. 
I hope these five underrated trails have motivated you to do some exploring and find some fresh trails. If you enjoyed this one, you might like my top five mountain bike trails in South Australia. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for the best MTB content.